All right, Math 1 students, this lesson's on 8.c, which is I can write an equation for a linear function, but this time you're going to be given two points, okay? So when we look at this, it says write equations of lines given two points, and we're going to call those two points, say, x1, y1, and the other point would be x2, y2, okay? Now, anytime you do this, the first thing you should always know, anytime we write the equation of a line, the first thing we always do is find the slope using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, once you do that, right, then what you're going to do is basically go and pick one of the points. It doesn't matter which point you use, but you're going to take the slope, you're going to take that point, and you're going to plug it into point slope form. If you're required to write it in slope intercept form, then you would go ahead, distribute the slope, and solve for y. So we're going to do a couple where it asks for point slope form, and then we'll do a couple in slope intercept. So looking at example one, write an equation in point slope form. So right away we know point slope form that passes through 4, 5, and negative 1, negative 2. So the first thing we know we have to do is find the slope. Now, I just like to take the y's, subtract them, take the x's, subtract them, and just keep the order in mind. So I'll just say I'm going to start there, and I'm going to go y, so 5 minus my y value of the other order pair is negative 2 over, I'm going to start with 4 in the denominator then, minus negative 1. Now, right away, I can bling bling up top, bling bling on bottom. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 1 is 5. So right away, my slope is 7 fifths. Now, I'm just going to take an ordered pair. There are two possible answers for this, right? Remember, point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So all I'm going to do is pick one point. If I use, okay, if I use the ordered pair, say, 4, 5, one of my answers could be y minus the y-coordinate is 5 equals my slope is 7 fifths times x minus my x-coordinate is 4. This is one possible answer. If I go and look at the other ordered pair, negative 1, negative 2, I'm going to do y minus my y-coordinates, negative 2, equals my slope is 7 fifths times x minus the x-coordinate is negative 1. Now, I do have to bling-bling here. So y minus negative 2 becomes plus 2. x minus negative 1 becomes plus 1. Now, another possible answer would be this here. Okay, let's take a look at another example. First thing I do, find the slope. So, again, I just pick one to start with. So I'm going to go negative 4 minus my other y-coordinate is 3 over, I have to start with 5 in the denominator, minus negative 3 would give me negative 7 over, I do have to bling-bling down there, that, so that becomes 5 plus 3, which is 8. So now, to write one possible answer, y minus negative 4 equals negative 7 eighths times x minus 5. The subtract and negative has to be simplified to y plus 4 equals negative 7 eighths times x minus 5. There's one answer. If I use the other ordered pair, it would be y minus 3 equals negative 7 eighths times x minus negative 3. Again, you have to simplify that, so it's y minus 3 equals negative 7 eighths times x plus 3. So either of those answers would work. You only need to have one, though. So now, if we're writing it in slope-intercept form, think about this here. Anytime we write it in slope-intercept form, we always write it in point-slope form first. So my first step is always find the slope. 
So I'm going to go ahead and if we're given negative 3, 2 and negative 2, negative 1, I'm going to say the slope is 2 minus negative 1 over negative 3 minus negative 2. That becomes 2 plus 1 up top, negative 3 plus 2 in the denominator. So you get 3 over negative 1, which will simplify to negative 3. So my slope is negative 3. But now, if you think about it, I told you guys it doesn't matter which ordered pair you work or you use. So let's go ahead and just use the first ordered pair, negative 3, negative 2. So we're going to write this in point slope form first. So y minus 2 equals negative 3 times x minus negative 3. So the one thing I want you guys to pay attention is, right, or attention to, is the minus 2 became like y minus this x coordinate, or this y coordinate. Then my slope, negative 3, and then my x coordinate, negative 3. So that's where those numbers are coming from. I do want to rewrite this as y minus 2 equals negative 3 times x plus 3, right? Because subtracting a negative becomes plus. And now to write this in slope intercept form, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 3 is minus 9. Now, add 2 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 3x, and that's going to be minus 7. Now, if I were to use the other ordered pair, say this one, again, I start with point slope form. So y minus negative 1 equals negative 3, which is my slope, times x minus negative 2. Remember, this becomes y plus 1 equals negative 3 times x plus 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 3. So y plus 1 equals negative 3x minus 6. And when I subtract that 1 from both sides, my point slope or my slope intercept form would be negative 3x minus 7. And if you look, no matter which point, given point you use, you get the same slope intercept form. So that that you know we went through that to show you it doesn't matter which ordered pair you use. So, looking at example four, right? Write an equation in slope intercept form for the line that passes through these points. First thing I do, jump to find the slope. So, right away, negative four minus four over negative three minus negative five. Okay? So, negative four minus four is negative eight. If I bling bling down here, that's negative 3 plus 5, which is 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is going to give me negative uh -oh, 4. I have my slope. I'm going to pick a point. I tend to use the points with the least amount of negatives. So that's negative 3, negative 4. This is negative 5, 4. So the you know, least amount of negatives leads to the least amount of mistakes. So I'm going to take that point, that slope, plug it in point slope form. So y minus 4 equals my slope negative 4 times x minus the x coordinate of that ordered pair is negative 5. Remember, that's the same as negative 4 times x plus 5. So now I'm going to distribute the negative 4 y minus 4 equals negative 4x, and that's going to be minus 20. And when I add 4 to both sides, y equals negative 4x minus 16. And I am done. Okay? Now, example 5. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passes through 4, negative 4, and 0, negative 1. Now, again, first thing. Find the slope, right? When I go to find the slope, I'm going to do, uh-oh, why does this keep happening? 
I'm going to do negative 4 minus negative 1 over 4 minus 0. Remember, that translates to 4 plus 1 over 4 minus 0, which gives you 5 over 4. Now, technically, right, you're given, it doesn't matter which ordered pair you use here. If you choose to work smarter, not harder, right, what ordered pair does this represent? This represents your y-intercept. How do I know that? Well, when x is 0, right, you know you have the y-intercept. Well, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, so can't I just take my slope, plug it in, my y-intercept, plug it in, y equals 5 over 4x, and then b is negative 1, so there would be my slope-intercept form. If by chance I did not recognize that, right, and I went ahead and I just plugged that ordered pair in, y minus negative 1 equals 5 fourths times x minus 0, look what happens. y plus 1 equals 5 fourths x, and then 5 fourths times 0 is just 0. And when I subtract 1, I get y equals 5 fourths x minus 1. Same equation up above. If you use the ordered pair 4, negative 4, it would give you the same equation. Now here, first thing you're going to do for the graphs is find the slope using rise over run. So here, if I'm going to go from this point to this point, I go down 1, so negative 1, over 1, 2, so my slope is one, negative 1 half. Now I'm just going to go and find the coordinates of one ordered pair. So this would be 1 and 2. As you can see, my y-intercept is not clean, right? So if I'm just asked to write an equation, I'm just going to write it in point slope and stop. So y minus the y-coordinate of the ordered pair I found is 2 equals negative 1 half times x minus 1. There is my equation. Next one. Again, pick two points. I'm going to find the slope. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Right 1, 2, 3. So the slope of this line is 4 thirds. My y-intercept is not clean, so I'm going to pick another ordered pair. Say I pick this ordered pair. There are many different answers you can have for this. So I'm going to use 4, 6. Right, that's a point on the line. So my answer is going to be y minus 6 equals 4 thirds times x minus 4. And I am done. Some other possible answers. If I use this ordered pair, say negative 2, negative 2, I would do y minus negative 2 equals 4 thirds times x minus negative 2 again, bling bling, and y plus 2 equals 4 thirds times x plus 2 would be another possible equation. Hopefully this helps you with the student practice. Go ahead and do that and let us know if you have questions.